Oh, he's so dramatically different between day 15 and day 16 by adding a hat. He thinks he's so tricksy. He does not think he's tricksy. He thinks he has a lot of appointments tomorrow and he needs to bulk shoot a couple of days to get out ahead of this. Tarot Vlogmas, of course, 31 days of daily vlogging around Papa Squirrel's amazing tarot prompts through the month of December. It's pretty exciting and I'm enjoying it. As of late, I've been using the Tarot Vlogmas hashtag in the show description to explore different days thematically. So day, like day five or day 13. So that's my recommendation for you for going through Tarot Vlogmas. Um, I'm leaving comments on videos and things that I find. I hope you'll do the same. And if I find a creator that I resonate with, I subscribe and I hope you'll do the same too. So let's get started with today's prompt. Day 16 and T Papa Squirrel asks a snowball. What is it that you protect? And I remember as a kid that last snowfall of the year. So I grew up in a snow region that last guaranteed snowfall of the year. I would go out and I'd put together a, a snowball and I'd put it in a plastic bag and I'd stick that bag in the freezer in the hopes of being able to take it out sometime in the summer and probably throw it at my brother. I don't know. Um, it never worked out. It never worked out. It always turned to ice. It always turned to ice. This prompt gave me, it not only gave me that memory, but also um, really made me think about what is it that I am protective of um, in my life. And there's so many different things that I'm protective of, just like you are, like what you're protective of in your life, whether it's your family or your kids or your time or your job or um, your sense of your sense of independence, your sense of values, whatever it may be. And there's certainly all of those things for me. Um, and I had to really think about it in terms of kind of like, what am I most protective of right now? And it was, that was challenging for me. That's because there's just so many things. It's hard to kind of, kind of see which one kind of bubbles up to the top. Um, as I look back on the change, um, the changes that my family made over the last year, I would say that one of the things that probably the, the most important thing that um, in conversations within the family and conversations about what it is, what we're doing here, you know, why we're going through this change, what this change is all about. Um, happiness is the thing that I'm protective of. So I'm protective of my own happiness. I'm protective of the happiness of others around me. Uh, and I am protective that people don't come through and kick over my cup. Um, I want my cup to be full, right? It's my job and my responsibility to make my cup full, to fill it with happiness and love and kindness and gentleness. Um, if that is challenging when, uh, that is challenging in stressful environments, is challenging when you're under stress and in a pressure cooker, um, to remember to do those things because you're sometimes angry and that anger can sometimes drain your cup and then you go seeking the draining of other cups. So the last few months um, has been under the value of, of regaining happiness. Um, not just, you know, regaining my own happiness and setting the example of what happiness should look like um, within my own life. And so what I'm protective of most is that sense of things, right? I'm going to protect my own energy. I'm not going to let people into that energy who are going to drain my, drain my cup. I'm not going to, I'm not going to allow for that. I'm not going to, you know, I'm going to choose to, I, I can't expect other people to change their energy. I can just simply put up a boundary and say, this does not support um, my happiness. It doesn't support my way in the world. It doesn't support the goals I think I'm trying to accomplish or even we're trying to accomplish and push back on those things. And it is that sense of protection can sometimes come off um, harsh, harsher than I'd want it to be. So I need to work on that certainly. Um, but I'm really protective of my happiness. I'm protective that I'm, um, that I'm happy and I got to And I need to protect that from myself too, right? It's not just other people. I'm not just like setting up the snow fort in front of the yard and tossing snowballs at people who are threatening my happiness. I internally need to do that for myself. I need to protect myself from all enemies, internal and external, or external and internal. And so that sense of happiness and making sure that I protect it is important. And that is my response. I have lots of other responses to this question. 
Um, but I'm curious about what it is that you're protecting. And I guess my question to you might be, you know, how do you protect your happiness? You know, what are you doing in your life to protect your happiness? Maybe I can learn a thing or two, both from people without and people and people within all of, all of the people, all of the Dr. Mysticals inside the Dr. Mystical. So how are you doing that? Let me know in the comments. Terra Vlogmas continues to be a lot of fun and I'm enjoying it. And I know I've been so tricksy with doing a bulk shoot, but I've got that appointment and <laughs> I got to get the videos out too. So we'll see you soon, friends. Make sure you subscribe and join the channel if you'd like. Make sure you go over to Papa Squirrel, what you have, and subscribe to his channel too. And we'll see you on day 17.